Yo, what's going on everyone? It is your boy XBigChrisX, Chris X, and today I have some Black Ops 2 gameplay for you guys. Uh, it's a quick little 16-4 uh, on uh, Express using the Scar H, and it's really a long gameplay, but it's kind of slower paced. Um, but I, it's the longest gameplay I had to discuss some patch notes with you for Black Ops 2. So the three important features that they added, feature improvements that they added, uh, only three of them, uh, are added a prestige level calling card for each prestige level. So before in Model Warfare 3, when you were, you know, let's say prestige 1, you would have a prestige 1 calling card and uh, the little emblem to go with it. Uh, in Black Ops 2, it wasn't the case, but now, and even though I think it's kind of late, they finally added that. Uh, players will now control the last score streak called when calling in multiple remote controllable score streaks. So let's say I call in a AGR and then a load star. No, not a load star. Let's say I, I call in an AGR and then maybe a VTOL. I'm pretty sure I'm only allowed to use the AGR because I called that in first. So I think that's how that works. Uh, if I'm wrong, sorry, correct me down below. Uh, they also added a feature to kick players if they suicide too often in the game. Now, I never had an issue where people were suiciding each other, or themselves rather, too, so often that I wanted to kick them. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys have seen that, but I personally haven't. Uh, they adjusted the hijacked engine room hardpoint zone to extend to the ladder. So, you know where the engine room is and hijacked underground. Now they extended it all the way to the ladders where you first get in to go down there. So, I think it's going to be a little bit more chaotic and... Maybe a little bit more campy. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of C4 thrown down there. Uh, the lightning strike, radar, lightning strike radar will not reactivate after round change if it has been used in a previous round. So let's say I get, I'm get i on my second lightning strike. Now usually when you call in a lightning strike it gives a little blip of red dots so you can see and uh, estimate where you might want to put the lightning strike shots to get you know the most effect. Now if the round changes, for example in Domination, and the spawns flip, whatever. Now it's not going to show you where they are, could be, but I think you kind of know, you know. Uh, they also did global enemy spawn and flus adjusted. So now they changed the spawns a little bit, and I don't know how that's going to play out. I mean, I love the spawns, how they work. I like to spawn rape and stuff like that. So, but, you know, I guess that's changing. Uh, they also did uh, an. They adjusted the spawn ob objective spawn influencers and capture the flag. So that's once again, I think this is more though for specifically spawn raping the enemy. You know, if they're stuck at C, that's where they're going to spawn is C. So, you know, I think that's the rate is lowered now. Uh, zo some zombie issues, which there's only two. Uh, they resolved various bugs around the die rise map. And they fixed the UI error that occurred on turn. Not sure what that is. I, I'm not much of a zombies guy. Uh, some multiplayer addre issues addressed. Uh, they updated the menus to convoy exploits reported by the community. Haven't seen those. Uh, addressed a persistent counter UAV issue that occurred during host migration. Uh, so, you know, if host migration came up, it would constantly stay that way. Uh, on top of that, they also did that with uh, the VSAT except with the V set up and host migration kicking in, you would actually lose time. So now it's going to freeze at whatever time it uh, happens and continue normally as it would after migration is done. Uh, they also fixed an issue reported by the community, two of them, where uh, the player was not earning any progress for the Chopper Hunter Field Specialist Challenge, haven't seen it, and where C4 was doing no damage to enemies if it was blown up the moment it attaches to a surface. So if you've got, you know, Scavenger and uh, Fast Hands, which is what I usually run when I run C4, uh, you know, you would just throw the C4 really quick and the moment it attached to something or while it was in midair, you would double tap that X button. Uh, sometimes when it would hit the surface, it would not give any damage at all to enemies. So now that's fixed. Hopefully I get a little bit more kills. Uh, they also address an issue reported by the community with activating prestige on a weapon, not removing attachments from a weapon in another class set. So let's say I had the Scar H uh, and it's at max prestige in one class set and I prestige it and it's rank one in the other class set, but it still has the weapon attachments attached. So they fixed that, so that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, the Prestige Master icon can now be seen in the next as the next Prestige when players reach the maximum Prestige level. So I'm kind of not going to say anything about that because I'm not totally sure. 
Uh, they also resolved the collision issue on Grind, which caused the place to become stuck on the vert ramp. Once again, hasn't happened to me. Uh, music now plays for everyone during the final kill cam. That's probably happened to me, but never really noticed because I didn't see it as a big issue. Uh, they addressed multiple multiple issues with reloading the War Machine score streak. So I'm hoping that means they gave it a slight um, like buff and made it slightly quicker. Uh, they also addressed an issue with chat notifications not appearing on the in-game screen for players who are speaking in party chat. Didn't really see it as a big deal, although I guess if you're looking for where a specific person was, I mean, I guess that kind of counts. Uh, they fixed an animation issue for the combat knife when holding aim down sight and pressing the melee attack button. Once again, never seen it. Uh, they also addressed an issue with league play slide menu where the career stats, career win stat was not updating for the previous seasons when the player had not yet been placed. Uh, fixed an issue with emblems on player cards viewed from the in-game scoreboard showing corruption. Never seen it. Addressed mul multiple menu laying issues. I've seen tons and tons of that. And they also fixed an issue with the laser sight effect not appearing in-game on a laser sight if the player spams the switch buttons, weapons button. Haven't seen that either, but I'm glad it's fixed, so maybe we can spot some more guys uh, lurking around those corners. Uh, one other thing I should notice, in a tweet that was sent out by Treyarch Studios, it says, alas, not for Uprising, but that was a one one deal for Revolution. That's referring to gun DLC, so we are not going to have any more gun DLC, unfortunately. So let me know down below what you guys think about that, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please like the video, share the video, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.